Hi, I'm Luann Aiken with Tagawa Gardens in Centennial, Colorado, out here on a hot summer day with a question. Is it ever too hot to plant? Fortunately for me, I have the man with the answers right here. This is Mike. He is a certified arborist. He's part of the Tagawa staff. And the question to you, my friend, ever too hot to plant? Oh, well, the quick answer is no, it's really not. I've been planting in July and August probably for the last 30 years. Hundreds of trees and shrubs in the ground with great success. A bullet list of the basic things that you follow, the guidelines that you follow when you're planting a tree or, or a shrub. Well, it's, uh, it's really important to, to dig a hole at least twice the diameter of the container or the root ball. You like to shave off that outer portion of the root ball. What's that about? One thing you'll read about container grown is that the roots can get pot bound, grow in a circle, and then potentially girdle the tree um, and kill it. When I put the plant in the ground, I'm going to slice into that root ball, loosen up the roots basically so that they're growing out rather than in a circle. Kind of a myth that roots go way down? It is a myth, yeah. There are a few trees that kind of have that tap root. Uh, they're basically looking for oxygen and moisture. But here locally, the stuff you find on the market here, the uh, vast majority of roots are going horizontal. Maybe the most important thing is to plant a little bit high. Um, that allows uh, the water to drain off of the roots, allows, uh, works oxygen into the soil. The, the, the plant won't suffocate, basically. So, yeah, with, we're, today we're in southeast Aurora, um, kind of a sand and clay combination. I'm definitely going to be adding some compost. Uh, just Because for, the soil is so sandy. Correct, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that's for nutrients, um, keeps the soil loose. This is all backfill here. I'll brush that away. Here's your root ball. Here, the top of the root ball is right here. And it's really important to never put dirt on top of the root ball. Everybody does it and it's a bad thing. It kind of suffocates the roots, um, really stunts the growth of the plant, can even kill the plant. We have plenty of soil to backfill, even enough to create a bit of a reservoir uh, around the root ball here. Once those are in the ground, watering is pretty critical. Absolutely. You don't want to put a uh, plant in the ground and then go away for two weeks and not water it. Obviously, that's common sense. But uh, I do think it is part of the problem. I think since it is so hot, uh, people might water every day. And depending on the plant, that could be way too much. And then the, the plant might tank because of too much water, not necessarily the heat. This is how I would prefer everybody to water their plants, but I know that's not practical. If you're using, if you're going to use drip lines for this size of a plant, uh, I would probably put three drip lines to this plant. How much mulch do you recommend? And how important is mulch? Mulch in Colorado is, is very important. It helps, you know, keeps the sun off the root ball, helps the, the root ball and the surrounding soil retain moisture. Um, so, yeah, for a shrub this size, probably only going to use about half a bag. A couple inches. Yeah, exactly. So bottom line, if you can take the heat, your plant can take the heat. Plenty of water for you, plenty of water for your tree or shrub. Come see us at Tagawa's. We are your garden store and so much more. If you like this video, feel free to share it with a friend. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter and at our website, tagawagardens.com.